Hey guys, JD Barr here. I'm going to try and make this one quick. I uh, just wanted to show you what's in the new version of Stream Warrior. Uh, if you go to Edit Scene, you can see I added the option to uh, there's a time to live button, so you can change how long your alert's going to stay on stream. Uh, you can go anywhere between, I think, 0.5 to 10 seconds. So that should meet most people's needs. Let's see what else. Oh, uh, as you can tell, I've also added custom fonts so you can just click the font button right here and it's going to pop up a window you just go to your uh, downloaded fonts whatever you have it only takes true type fonts so uh, TTF files uh, I've got one right here so we can just load it in you can see it instantly changes on the screen uh, what else did I add you can see there's a sub goal button here uh, but I'm not quite done with sub goals yet so we're, you're gonna have to wait on that one uh, but that is coming soon uh, you, there's also a new button up here, .txt. If you're a donator, you can click on this. That'll open up the uh, folder where your automatically generated text files are located, f which you can implement into OBS or XSplit. You can see we can open them up and they show our... Right now we have recent subscribers, which shows your 10 most recent subs, and we have subscriber count, which just shows how many subscribers you have in total. And you might notice that the subscriber count doesn't always match uh, what shows up in Stream Warrior. That's because what shows up in Stream Warrior is only your subscribers who have their uh, settings set to public. If their subscriptions are private, they won't show up on Stream Warrior, but they will show up in the total subscriber count. So that's why you might see some differences there. Uh, other than that, uh, the rest of it has been me fixing uh, memory leak, I think, that uh, was in there when you were switching profiles. So uh, if you were crashing when you were switching profiles, that might fix it now. I also fixed the graphical glitches when you maximize the window. So you should notice that resizing the window pretty much works flawlessly now. There's no more art artifacts or uh, I don't know if you guys notice sometimes the background would get wobbly something to do with the uh, application service rounding pixels or something like that uh, so I fixed that Yahoo! sub goals probably coming next week I looked into um, the sound system right now we're still using OGG's Yahoo! oh I should bring that up by the way sounds and images you can now load local files if you left click it's gonna bring up the file browser by default and right down here we have the file type og ogg vorbis uh that's the only file type sounds take right now i looked into the mp3 thing and the wave thing uh overhauling the sound system is going to be some work because most of the uh third party libraries i find are a little sketchy and and crash and mp3 support probably won't happen due to licensing fees uh, so that's probably not coming anytime soon sorry about that Subscriber image, you can still do PNG, JPEG, and GIF. And you can you can just click the file type there. You do have to be a donator for animated GIF, but it's all still there. If you want to still access the old method of adding sounds and images through URLs, you could just right-click the buttons, and the old dialog box will pop up for you to put in a URL. But I, I recommend going with the local version anyways. Uh, so yeah, waiting waiting on the sound system overhaul, uh, that's not a huge priority right now. There's free converters for MP3 to OGG or WAV to OGG. There's also You can also just use Audacity. That pretty much works. Uh, what else was I going to say? I think that was it. Oh, I was also mentioning the PayPal donation alerts. I looked into it. Uh, it's going to be a little bit difficult because PayPal needs to, the way their validation works, they send you uh, a request and you have to reply to that request and then they validate it. Uh, but that that would imply that StreamWire is always listening for these requests, which it's not. And to program that in would be a little bit troublesome. So I'm going to keep working on that. Hopefully I can get that in. But I'm also really looking forward to YouTube's fan funding because I think that's going to be the way to go. But I'll let you guys know 
uh, when that works out. I'll keep you guys posted on the PayPal and Patreon donation alerts. Hopefully I can get that working sometime soon. But sub goals, I think, is the number one priority right now. So I think I did the opposite of keeping this short and did what I usually do and kept rambling. So I'm, I'm going to cut myself off here. Enjoy the new version, guys. Let me know if you have any bugs or crashes in the comments. Like and subscribe uh, if you want to stay posted on new updates and new features to Stream Warrior. Uh, other than that, Oh, I rehauled the website, so feel free to check that out. It looks super awesome now. Uh, okay, that's everything. Uh, signing off. Adios.